everybody. You're here with the Fly Guy. All right, today I just wanted to take a second to talk about tying recipes a little bit. A tying recipe is simply a step-by-step -step progression of all the materials that are included in a fly pattern. It will start with the hook and it will end with the finished fly. And everything should be in sequence. Uh, for advanced tires, they can look at a recipe and they can just know from the recipe if they follow the material additions how to construct that fly because they've done the repetitions and they've been tying for a while so they can just replicate it. They don't need to see a video. Uh, they might use the video as reference, uh, but you can literally just look at a recipe and create the pattern. That's how it's supposed to be designed. However, I'm a visual learner and I wish that I had tying demos and videos when I was growing up learning how to tie. I went through the brutal uh, process of going through thousands upon thousands of reps with really not too many guides or lessons. I've, I'm self-taught. I learned a few things along the way that people showed me little tips and tricks, but everything that I learned I kind of scratched out of the ground. So I have tying recipes that I am updating regularly on my website at tfgflies.com. These recipes are designed to get everybody tying as a reference to be able to replicate the fly patterns that you see me tie and fish. And they're supposed to be there as a guide and a reference for you to fall back on. Uh, I will always have my tying demo videos available as a cross-reference as well. So make sure that you head over to my website uh, to check those out. Um, some of the recipes are free and available for download uh, directly from my website. I also have another platform called Gumroad, which uh, you can go there. I'll also provide a link in the description for you for that, where you can go and find my recipes for my advanced patterns, and there might be a small charge. Um, my recipes are not expensive, um, but anything that comes in from my tying recipe revenue is just going to get put back into the channel so I can continue providing great content for you to continue watching in the future. If you're a beginning tire, use these recipes as a reference to see how the pattern is constructed and then watch the tying video and tying demo that I'll have up on my website so that you can see how I'm applying the materials that I've listed. Uh, I don't typically list the exact materials that I use because I do use some material alternatives but I provide general guidance on the materials themselves because as an advanced tire, you'll find that material substitutions are what make a pattern great. And you can really make your own patterns based off the foundation that I'm giving you. You don't have to replicate everything exactly like the pattern that I've put forth. You can go ahead and create your own pattern. Let your creativity come forth and, and just turn it loose. You might be able to create something better than I have. So don't think of it as a rigid set of rules. Think of it as an opportunity to build a foundation of skills and material applications so that you can create flies that stand out and catch fish in the field. One of the biggest things that I, I want to convey about any of my recipes and my fly patterns is the durability. I don't tie with weak hooks and I don't tie with faulty materials. If I put something on a fly, it's going to last because I want my time at the vise to be worthwhile, and I want the same for you too. Just to be fully transparent and honest, with these recipes and any tying demos, when you sit down, if you are a beginner, make sure that you understand that regardless of how many hurdles I'm trying to get out of your way in the tying process, no matter how many I'm trying to take away from you, you're still gonna have to do the reps. Do not become discouraged when your fly doesn't look like mine. It's gonna take time. But I promise you that if you stick with it, there is nothing more rewarding than not only constructing a fly that looks good, but is also durable and catches fish in the field. All right, guys, so that's just a little bit about tying recipes. They are great for people to look at as a general reference. They are gonna help you get into a fly pattern, dissect it, and construct it yourself. And from there, it's up to you and your creativity. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fly fishing and fly tying videos. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.